Well, hi everyone. I'm Andy Asher. I'm editor at Bloomer Boomer. Now, when I hear about making an investment, my thought goes to things like stocks and bonds and mutual funds. Now, I guess I'm kind of old-fashioned because now, well, there are so many different places to invest my money, whether it's, uh, let's say, a Kickstarter-type crowdfunding campaign or helping a friend get their startup off the ground. And, of course, there is uh, real estate investing. Uh, you know, that's been the backbone of our economy for generations. Now, today, we're going to talk about another investment that has been really hot for a while. Um, and, uh, well, you need to put aside your biases, I might say, uh, and uh, maybe have a thick skin when uh, f friends shun you when you tell them what you do. <laughs> uh, if our uh, guest today had any qualms about being an investor in the socially snubbed investment niche, well, it hasn't stopped him because he's crushing it from becoming an investment evangelist for mobile home parks. We'll talk with Wharton Business School educator and mobile home park investor Jefferson Lilly in a moment. Now, this is part of the Plus 50 Good Life Movement, a project of the BloomerBoomer.com publication. And we'll be right back right after this. Well, our guest is mobile home uh, park investor uh, Jefferson Lilly. Well, Jefferson, it's good to have you here. Well, Andy, thank you for having me on the show. Well, look, it, I'm, you have to have a little bit of sense of humor because how else would you uh, answer the jokes and snickers when you tell people uh, what you do? I mean, you, you can have a little fun <laughs> with it. Is that right? I, I just tell them I, I'm just trailer trash. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and you've heard all the jokes. Is that it? Uh, I've certainly heard several, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. Uh, listen, you, uh, it sounds like you sort of uh, take the counterintuitive approach to things. And uh, uh, I don't know, you know, how you got into it. Uh, although I, it sounds like you're a, a guy that knows numbers. I mean, is that what it all came down to? It just made money. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, my background prior to getting into real estate uh, was working uh, with several startups uh, here in Silicon Valley. I did the dot-com boom and bust and came through that really more focused on value investing uh, and decided I wasn't really going to do uh, high-tech, biotech, solar tech, silly tech uh, investing. And I was going to focus really just on value investing. I did that both in the stock market and then diversified away from that and um, uh, bought my first mobile home park. This really is value real estate. Uh, and so that was now just a little over 10 years ago. I now do this full time. I've, I've left the world of high tech and uh, I just buy mobile home parks. And my partner and I now are about uh, the 47th largest mobile home park uh, owner in America. Well, so how do you get past uh, the biases and or or maybe you don't want to spend time with people who need to be con convinced otherwise, but there's a big bias out there. How do you deal with that? There, there is, and it's really undeserved. And again, my, my earlier trailer trash comment is really tongue in cheek. Most folks that live in mobile home parks are really good, honest, hardworking folks who uh, just want they want what all of us want. They want to own their own home. They want their kids in a good school district. We help them provide that. Uh, we typically sell the mobile homes. We do retain ownership of the land, uh, but but we always help folks buy their own homes. We don't rent uh, our mobile homes. Again, they're on rent to own agreements, and we help folks achieve the American dream: home ownership. And uh, of course. People are owning it a little differently that, uh, than they might typically because uh, they, they own the structure, but they don't own the land. Uh, so that must uh, be yeah. a, a real change in, in how it all works. Uh, it is. Uh, you're correct that they'll end up owning their home. They actually end up owning the home, though, much more quickly uh, than most Americans there's no such thing as a 30-year mortgage uh, in manufactured housing. 
So uh, for more modest homes, many of our tenants uh, might even be able to pay cash, say less than $5,000 and, and own it immediately. Uh, for nicer homes that might range up to, oh, the high end would be about fifty thousand. Uh, that might be a fifteen-year mortgage. I'd say, on average, probably most folks end up owning a house maybe between seven and ten years uh, at the most. And uh, th then they just pay lot rent, which probably averages only a little over three hundred a month. So that's a very big savings for folks. Uh, versus those living in site-built houses or even apartment living. Uh, we, we often get a lot of folks moving out of apartments that have been paying in our, in our markets, say, 900 a month for a two-bedroom, and they can get into one of our three-bedroom homes and become an owner, say, for seven to 800. Uh, they've got their own four walls, nobody, nobody walking on their ceilings or banging into their walls, and they can park right in front of their home, and it's... Uh, their home okay so, so uh, i know that uh, you talk about this a lot you have a podcast and i'm so uh, uh appreciative you're uh, with us today what's your ultimate goal what do you uh, want to get out of all of this to uh as far as the interest and other investors where is, what is your goal here yeah so uh our goal really is both, of course, we're, we're a for-profit entity. It's both to make a good uh, rate of return for our investors, uh, which we think will be, say, high teens, uh, which is pretty good, we think, for, for real estate, which is relatively low risk. Um, and it's also, frankly, we have a social mission, which is to expand the supply of affordable housing. So most of the mobile home parks we buy, Andy, have some amount of vacancy, say 10%. We might buy a roughly 100 space mobile home park and there will be 10 uh, empty lots there uh, and or perhaps 10 abandoned mobile homes. So we'll put money into renovating those homes. We'll get them uh, on a rent to own contract uh, for, for new families. And then we'll also buy uh, brand new homes from the factory to infill any vacant pads. So we're expanding the supply of affordable housing. Um, so again, we, we do have a social mission as well as a uh, very much a for-profit mission as well. So are you, is this an investment opportunity? Because I know, you know, all of these uh, legal hurdles you have to go through as far as um, making everything clear. Is that what we're talking about? Or is there something else that you're uh, trying to convince or trying to get out there? Uh, no, we, we do have a, a fund. We're, uh, we've had several. We're about to open our third fund uh, by the end of this year. Uh, folks need to be an accredited investor. That means a net worth of $1 million or greater, uh, or not and, or a 200000 a year household income if single or 300000 a year if married. Those are the criteria for, for being an accredited investor. So our funds are registered with the SEC, the Securities and Exchange Commission. Uh, that doesn't mean they audit them or anything, but, but we register with them. And in exchange for uh, not taking proverbial widows and orphans, in exchange for only taking accredited investors, uh, we are able to talk uh, quite uh, freely. Uh, about our funds. There is an irony to me about the fact that we're talking about uh, mobile home parks, trailer parks, what, what have you, and yep. typically uh, you also associate, and again, there are probably a lot of myths in, in, in your industry, but the, one of them might be the, the fact that older people, and uh, Bloomer Boomer is for people over 50, those are the people yep. that live in the very trailer parks that you're talking about them investing in there there's something of an irony there uh perhaps uh although frankly probably folks that are accredited investors might not be living in a mobile home park <laughs> this is true. Uh, in, a unless point. it's one of the very sexy ones is that on right? the beach okay in okay. florida or in los angeles there there are some quite nice parks two thousand dollar lot rent parks uh, right on the water we don't own anything quite that fancy we're we're typically uh, uh, all ages, that includes seniors, uh, and we really play in the affordable uh, 
niche of, of this business. Uh, our, again, our average lot rent is a little over three hundred dollars, so that's uh, that's that's quite affordable, certainly compared to most apartment dwelling, and uh, you know, and again, trying to, to to buy a more expensive single family house. Have you? Uh, is, is there a favorite uh, joke on uh, that that comes to mind? <laughs> Oh, one of the amusing things that happened to me when I got into this business was I was, uh, as I mentioned, I was buying several mobile homes to bring them into my community to fill vacancies, to expand the supply of affordable housing. So I went down to the DMV, uh, Andy, most uh, mobile homes are uh, ha- have a VIN number, they're wheel estate, not real estate, <laughs> have a VIN number. Uh, just like your car and title trades through the DMV. So I went down to the DMV and I passed across the counter two or three mobile home uh, titles. This was in Oklahoma. This young lady behind the counter looked me over head to toe, somewhat impressed, and she said, oh my, you own more than one mobile home? (laughs) Uh, yeah. Said yes, ma'am. I'm a big shot. I I do own two or three, and I'm going to own a lot more. Oh, so, anyway. well, listen. What uh, what can someone do who's uh, thinking of uh, maybe parking their money somewhere and getting a nice return? Uh, what 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 uh, what can they do? What steps can they take? Yeah. So we've got a website that tells more about what we do. This is fully secured real estate investing. Uh, our website is parkstreetpartners.com parkstreetpartners.com. We also then, as I mentioned, have our own podcast, also our own industry calendar of events and our own group on LinkedIn, nearly 4,000 other park owners or would-be park owners. And they can link there through uh, our website at mobilehomeparkinvestors.com. That's where the links are to our podcast and uh, uh, again, the calendar and our group on LinkedIn, mobilehomeparkinvestors.com is also a good site. Well, uh, Jefferson Lilly, it's uh, been fascinating. Learned a thing or two, and uh, we'll uh, be interested to see how that uh, market changes. Uh, So thanks so much for uh, being here. Okay, thank you, Andy. Have a great day. You too. Our guest, mobile home park investor Jefferson Lilly. We'll be right back. I hope you liked the show. I hope you learned a thing or two. The full show will be available on YouTube and at bloomerboomer.com. The audio version available on Apple Podcasts. And we have other shows coming up with some amazing guests. Please uh, like us on Facebook and visit us at bloomerboomer.com. Until next time, so long.